In today's video, we are going to be looking at three common faults that could affect your swing and how to correct them. By correcting these three faults, we will ensure that we have a nice big swing, we'll have a better and longer contact point, we'll have a cleaner strike, but we'll also impart more power onto the ball. Let's not waste any time. Let's get straight into fault number one. Fault number one is where you lose your backswing, where you either don't get your hands back far enough or your hands go straight up and that limits the amount of swing potential that you have. Your swing potential links directly into your hand speed and the power with which you can hit the ball. So the bigger our backswing, the more energy the bat is going to have at the point of contact, which is below our head, and then that's going to allow us to swing through the ball with power. For this, we have selected two drills to help you correct this mistake. The first drill we are going to be looking at is your friend or your coach is going to stand behind you with the bands. You're going to step forward and shadow play a shot by getting into the position. Your friend is then going to ensure that your hands move back by pulling on the bands to get your hands nice and back and nice and high. This is the starting point with which you want your swing. By doing this, your body will get used to setting into this position and having that extra tension is going to make sure that your hands are working hard to stay in that position. An added benefit to this is that you actually promote the shoulder dip, which is going to help elongate your swing even more. The next draw is going to follow on from the first draw where you're going to get it into that position where your hands ended. Nice and high, nice and back. From here, the ball is going to get dropped in front of you and you're going to just swing through there, trying to point to where the ball is going with the bat as well. This is to help you with your swing path and to make sure that your hands are starting from the right position. This is also going to help you in the future to get your hands up to that point on a more regular basis and it also shows you how nicely you can hit the ball with this swing. The slight progression with this is you're now going to add a step to it but still starting with the hands nice and high to really promote that big backswing. Seeing as though we're focusing on the swing, how about you swing down and hit that like button? Let's move on to fault number two. The second fault we are going to be looking at is the stunted finish to the swing or the chicken wing. This is where a player hits through the ball and the wrist breaks in the shot, thus limiting the amount of swing potential you have through the ball. The hands are then pulling up and you're wasting that last section of your swing. Another reason could be that the elbow pops up too early and that also pulls the hands up and away from where the contact point needs to be going. What you want to be doing here is at the point of contact, you want your hands extending forward and through the ball with a nice strong front arm, making sure that the wrist is locked out to really get the back going through the ball. This is going to help you making a clean contact through the ball because you aren't breaking too early. And it's also going to make sure that the ball is going towards the line that you want to hit and that's going to help you score more runs. Yet again, we have selected two drills in which to help us with this. The first one is the golf swings. This is to make sure that we've got a nice big swing through the ball. We are going to add the step here as well, because we're all good enough to do that now, making sure that you make contact and go through the ball as long as possible. Big swing from back to front. This is also needed to focus on the first roll because we want a nice big swing from start to finish. Bigger swing means more power. The second draw we are going to use is the top hand focus draw. This is where you just hold the bat with your top hand, you try and have a nice big swing through the ball and just hit as far as you can through the line of the ball. It needs to be nice and strong to get the bat through to the top of its swing. But what this is going to help is it's going to make sure that your forearm gets nice and strong and that you can lock your wrist out for longer periods of time. This is going to ensure that we hit the ball nice and cleanly and we're strong at the contact point, but at the same time, we're strong through the remainder of the swing. Fault number three, is swing alignment. It's where the batter makes contact with the ball but ends up pulling the hands across the ball. This could cause a slice which lacks power but it also promotes the outside edge of the bat which could get you out which is both things that we don't really want. The correct way to do this is once you make contact to just allow the bat to go through the line to the top of the swing because this is going to make sure that with the ball hard and long in that area and that any slight misjudgment in timing doesn't cause us to hit the ball straight up or nick the ball off. Guess what? Yet again, we have selected two drills to try and correct this fault. The first draw, we're going to stand in our stance, but have two balls in our hands. We're going to step forward and play a drive with as big a swing as possible, but releasing the balls into the net to follow the line of the balls and to try and ensure that our hands follow that line for as long as possible. This might look easy, but the repetition is going to really help you get used to those lines. And you'll see later on when we do add the bat into this, that the bat is going to follow that line and your connection will be that much sweeter. The second draw, we're going to set out a cone and the bat is going to try and hit the ball over the cone and try and keep the bat in the follow through over the cone for as long as possible. This is to help with that line 
and making sure that everything is moving towards the target. With a step, we are trying to make sure that our toes are lined up to our target and that the bat follows that line to hit through the ball. This will make you look a lot cleaner as a batter, but it is also going to make you hit the ball that much harder, which could get you boundaries, and who wants to run when they don't have to? A massive thank you to everyone that got to this point in this video. Please leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, see you next time.